Hello there, welcome to the A-Level Maths Applied June 2023. Here we're looking at the fourth statistics question. The study was made of adult men from Region A of a country. It was found that their heights were normally distributed with a mean of 175.4 and a standard deviation of 6.8. Find the proportion of the men that are taller than 180. So with any of with any of these binomial, so with any of these normal distribution questions, always like to draw a diagram. 175.4 in the middle, standard deviation 6.8, and we want to find the probability that a randomly chosen man, a proportion of men that are 180 centimetres or taller. So this gives me a sense of what my, how big my answer is going to be. So I can tell here that my answer is definitely going to be less than a half, probably less than 0.25 even. So less than 0.25 even. So Let's go to the statistical distribution mode on our calculator, so mode 7. We're now going to go into normal CD mode, so hit number 2 on your calculator. So we want the lower bound to be 180, so when you type in your lower bound, just type in 180. We don't really want there to be an upper bound, so go 9999999. Standard deviation 6.8, um, mean is 175.4, and the answer to that is... So the probability that x is bigger than 180 is 0.249. And that definitely feels, feels about right according to the diagram. Let's move on to the next part. A student claims that the mean height of an adult man in region B of this country was different from the mean height of an adult man uh, from region A. A random sample of 52 adult men from region B had a mean height of 177.2. The students assumed that the standard deviation of the heights of the adult men was 6.8 for both region A and region B. Use a suitable test to assess your student's claim. You should um, state your null hypothesis, state your hypothesis clearly, and use a 5% significance level. So, our null hypothesis is that the mean is going to stay at 175.4 and our alternate hypothesis is that the mean is going to get bigger than, um, than that so it's bigger than 175.4. Our distribution is a normal distribution with 175.4 as the mean but with the standard deviation if you've taken a sample you've got to do your sample divided by um, the your standard deviation your variance divided by the um, sample so the variance here is 6.8 squared divided by 52 later on when I go into my calculator my standard deviation is going to be 6.8 divided by the square root of 52 okay so um, what we're testing for now is the probability that a randomly chosen man from region A, uh, that, that 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 mean that that yeah the mean if we were to pick fifty two adults from region A, uh, would be one hundred and seventy seven point two or greater. And if this is less than or more than five percent, then that's absolutely fine. Oh wait, hold on. Um, I've I've messed up a bit of this question here. Um. The student assumes that standard deviation. Uh, a claim is made that the mean height of the man in was different from the mean height of a man in region A. So it's not greater than, by my pun, it is equal, so it is not equal to because the uh, student just claims that the mean height is different. Okay, so really important with the phrasing of your words there. Okay, so let's go to the calculator. So we're now in normal CD mode. We're going to test for a probability of 177 or greater. 177.2 or greater, uh, with the standard deviation being 6.8 divided by the square root of 52. Uh, and the mean will still remain as 175.4. And when we calculate that probability, we get an answer of 0 0.02814. Uh, so, uh, let's move on to now comparing this to a 5% significance level. Because this was a two-tailed test, because 
because this was a two-tailed test, we should actually split that 5% into two lots of 2.5%. So because this 0 0.02814 probability is bigger than 0.025, so as 0 0.02814 is bigger than 0 0.025, we do not reject the null hypothesis. We nearly did, we nearly rejected the null hypothesis, but we didn't. So what can we conclude? Let's get a sentence back in terms of the context of the question. Um, we, uh, the, the evidence supports, the evidence suggests, the evidence supports the mean height not being different from region A to region B. Okay, so find the p-value of the test in part B. Well, because this was our um, this was our uh, probability value, because it was a two-tailed test, we need to double that probability. So for part C, the p-value is equal to two times that. So I'll save that as A in my calculator and double it in the main calculator mode. So the p-value here is 0 0.0563 to three significant figures. So there we are, that's the answer to question four with a total of six marks. Let's now move on to question five.